So, hello, I'm Anurin. Um, I'm going to be running Little Night. Uh, little Nightmares. That's later. Limbo, any uh, normal route, any percent? And on the couch, I have. Start in three, two, one, go. Up oh, and it went off the screen. <laughs> uh, better restart. I wasn't mashing. <laughs> Don't oh, that seventeen second handicap. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right, much better. <laughs> so, Limbo is a puzzle platformer produced by Play Dead, Play Dead Games. Um, he obviously uses a minimalistic art style and minimal minimalistic track. It can be a little difficult to like deal with sound volumes because for the most um, for most of the game you don't have any music and then you'll have some pretty loud sounds later on that's all right So there's some varied strats here as far as to make the boat go a little faster, but um, at most it's one second, at least it might be negligible. So <laughs> um, I do the little pushing on the side of the boat strategy, but some people um, jump around on it to make it uh, dip further to the right. They have a handy habit of putting um, uh, handles on things you're supposed to move. Shots. Like this bear trap. <laughs> um, so if you fall from a high enough uh, height, you have an, an animation where you're kind of recoiling with your knees, um, and if you buffer a jump, meaning you hold the jump button during that animation, you'll jump as soon as possible. Um, so generally, you wanna you wanna jump out of hard falls to negate the time that you're stuck standing there. One. You can do this, uh, you can attempt this three times without losing time. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This is the hardest trick in the game. Nope. Yeah, no, not today. Even with like the proper setup and everything, it it pretty much feels like RNG when you get it. You're just sometimes having a good day. And that's not today. I'm gonna do a similar strategy here to fling myself at this rope. Um, and the way that I set up that box means that when I fall back down, I won't have to climb the box. I'll fall on top of it.
So that um, that trick obviously negates this whole part where I have to go up the tree and knock down the log to get across there. You just kind of trebuchet yourself across and keep going. But um, even some of the best runs in the game uh, don't have first try of that trick. You don't have many friends in the game. <laughs> so this third one, your bear trap doesn't reset in time, so you have to just miss that opportunity. negate as much of the the time spent walking to the point where you get stuck in the web as possible. Um, so that wasn't the best best last jump there, but it wasn't terrible either. <laughs> we have any arachnophobes in the chat? <laughs> that melee practice to get <laughs> to get the fast mash. Um, so for new runners, this coming up part here where there's a, there's a pit you can fall down while you're in the spider silk is a problem, but there's actually a queue back there where if you see that you're aligned um, with the end of a twig, you can know that you're safe to keep doing full hops and you won't uh, land in the pit. controller cam for my A presses. <laughs> <laughs> up here is a trick called falling bear trap um, it just makes you skip having to there you go yeah so you skip having to like uh, touch the rope wait for the bear trap to fall and then reclimb the rope um, it basically requires you to not or to keep holding the jump button and um, only move your analog during that time Turns out most things in this game want to kill you, unfortunately. So here's another trick. Appropriately named. 
Dying to it and getting it the second try loses like 12 seconds or something. I'm not sure exactly how much tire saves over like just doing it the um, standard way you would do it in a normal playthrough. Um, but it's uh, <laughs> a couple frames, I'd say. So this is one of the areas of the game where people suspect there to be a skip that no one has done yet. Um, so you have to wait for the spider to push down this log for you to progress. But people think that if you um, if you jump at the right place, you might be able to make it across. But it's never been done. So if you're interested in speedrunning this game and you figure that out, you might be immortalized. People have put like. 500 hours into this game, so. Uh, he's got. I think he's got one more attempt in him. Persistent bugger. <laughs> so if you, um, I don't actually know what triggers it, but sometimes you can get an audio glitch here. Didn't get it today. So we're gonna take this last leg from him. He doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> You have one more use in you. <laughs> so you can actually like, uh, you can fling yourself using this if I get the right spot. <laughs> so this box is appro appropriately named Crow Box. <laughs> To be honest, I wasn't trying to make a joke, it was just that it was appropriately named, but... <laughs> uh, the, the character I'm playing here is uh, called the Limb Boy. Um, momentarily. So yeah, that was some foreshadowing for game mechanics further on. <laughs> I mean, I'd say it's less morally questionable than using the potentially still living spider without legs, but... <laughs> So this is a trial and error puzzle. Um, the first one, everything but this button underneath the squisher kills you. And the second one, only the button kills you. Uh, but these these kids don't know about the puzzle. So. That's, yeah. Oh, uh, this is the kid's pit, yeah. So that <laughs> <laughs>
You don't want to push it any further than you have to. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I mentioned earlier why I'm why I'm jumping all the time. So that's the fastest ground movement in this game. Uh, you kind of max out at two steps forward running momentum. Um, and you maintain your momentum into jumps. So you pretty much always want to uh, be jumping with maximum momentum. So it, it's a mechanic that kind of turns levels into auto uh, auto scrollers because you can't turn around and you can't stop. You can only uh, modify how fast you're moving forward until you uh, remove them using the little creatures on the ceiling. for some reason. So do you think we're inside or outside right now? Of course, yeah. Yeah, it's actually a pretty terrible respawn point if you do that. <laughs> goal here is that we need to get this box um, to the top, uh, but we're not going to pull all the way because we have to wait for this water to come up anyhow. So we're going to push against the wall to get the box the rest of the way clear. This game is all about micro-optimizations. So this can be hor go horribly wrong if you don't put the right amount of water in there. I think I did it right then. Alright, I missed a 
cycle here. <laughs> you generally want to jump out of the brain's like turning around animation as well. exactly what they are. They seem to have teeth. You can actually get a random death here. It's super unfortunate if the um, if the sparks happen to go in like a certain way, like when you touch that switch, you just die. And that happened to someone in, a, in like a marathon. But it's a, uh, I mean, the exact like odds of it happening are unknown, but it's pretty rare. <laughs> and it is actually a um, a limbo normal route race between Zet and Yajiji. Uh, at ESA, <laughs> and he, he got that, like, I don't know, one in a thousand chance or something stupid. Jump out of hardfall. So I tried to turn around at the last minute there. If you um, if you start facing the opposite way, right before the worm comes down, you can skip the animation of the worm taking over you. Um, but it's not the biggest time loss if you don't get it. It's just kind of um, a bonus thing. And you know, if you're contesting world record, every second counts. So. Speaking of world record, shoutouts to um, Sad David and Parhelion, both of which have almost, I guess, like near perfect runs as far as we know in this category. <laughs> um, so my, my PV is like a high 41. They have high 39s. <laughs> um, so they're pretty wild. They've sunk a lot of time into this game. I guess near 
near perfect is subjective because we don't really know, you know, what all is possible in the game, but um, as far as like what's known, they have most of it. it it's, it's actually, um, it's being worked on. At least people are trying to figure out like um, methods of doing it, but someone's on it. So the, the, the ruse of this puzzle is that the game makes you think that there's a counterweight um, to this kind of seesaw structure up ahead, um, but the, the solution is that the um, platform in which you, with which you carry up the box is the counterweight. So it's pretty, pretty tricky level design. Climb, but um, we take those, as they say. Down there is the entrance to Hard Root, um, which is kind of inappropriately named. Some uh, inappropriately named. Some people think it's easier than normal route. Um, so there's a. Let me get through this real quick. Let me just turn this mic on. Hello, everyone. Fricassee donated $10. Shout out to Anuran, uh, repping the CLE speedrunning scene. Limbo looks like a great run, even if you didn't get the tree skip. Good luck with the rest of the run and with little nightmares later. Appreciate it, Fricassee. Yeah. That would be the Cleveland scene, the CLE scene. Try and move that far enough. I'll probably adjust that on my way back. Oh, well, I was saying um, that dark root, uh, hard root is kind of inappropriately named because some people think it's easier than normal root, but it um, kind of has a different set of gimmicks where it shows you a pattern and an associated noise and then takes away your visuals, so you have to recognize the pattern based on the, the audio alone. But you unlock that once you beat the game the first time. And that was before that um, fly area back there. Oh, I was going to adjust this. We did just uh, jump over a section where uh, it's very easy to die. That's unfortunate. Um, I won't lie, that's a pretty big time loss, but we're just gonna keep rolling with it. The way this trick works is that um, you're supposed to kind of like backtrack and go around and push the box out, um, but you can push up against the piston as it's coming down um, and push the box like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> that That's how it's supposed to go. Very good. First try. First, first yeah, first, second try. Boy, the game. <laughs> Isn't Box Boy already a game? Um, I think the game might have came out after this one. Huh. I'm not positive though. Do you do you have any idea when it came out? I can look that up right now. I'm pretty sure this was like 2010 or something like that. Don't quote me on it. January 14th, 2015. I do not. I think it was um, somewhere around 2010. July 2010. So five years before Box Player was released, we got the I can't prequel. Can't believe they copied Playhead. <laughs> Could this be the prequel to Box Player? Frequency donated five dollars. Here's an extra five dollars for the hype man finally pronouncing my name correctly. No worries, man. I worked on it all of last night. <laughs> Thank you. So would you say this is outside? Um, I I don't think it would be outside. Just I don't because know. We're rotating rooms. I haven't spent too much time thinking about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Who could really tell? I don't know. We got lights. I would think if it was outside, they wouldn't have lights hung like that. That is true. But they could also be street lights. Oh, there's our sister. Hello, sister. Oh, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> That's quite the troll, I will say. Oh, this, game, like, this game is mean. <laughs> yes. It's a little sadistic. <laughs> oh, we're going back to our sister again. Yeah. And I'm assuming the sister's going to be gone. Was she ever even there? Or it'll just... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Do you think any of this, uh... This game's actually happening? I think maybe... Loom Baby has just been dead the whole time. Maybe we're just that's the most advances. tired trope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe this, uh... Uh, 
uh, got troll boxed. <laughs> Sad. So the box can kind of um, go one of two ways off of the gear here. Um, and I got the wrong one that's harder to prepare for. This puzzle took me forever in my casual playthrough because you just want to like do it. You don't like look for like how it actually rotates. That was not a very good explanation, but you get what I'm saying. Like you you want to rush at it and just make it work, but you have to like watch um, the rotation. Yeah, my brain doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. I'm just go. So for some reason, climbing up ladders increases momentum in this game. So we do that to make that go a bit faster. Is electricity our friend? <laughs> I would say electricity is probably not our friend. Um, there's a way to make this cart go fast by um, jumping at the very tip uh, at the front towards the light um, and landing on the cart and doing it over and over again. But because the whole ground is lava here, um, that's a pretty risky <laughs> strategy. I'm just going to forego it for the sake of this run. Or I going for world record every every little um, every little optimization matters. I thought the flow was electricity, not lava. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a phrase. Oh. I see. <laughs> so coming up here is dark skip, um, the easiest hard skip in the game. Hypothetically, you should never miss it, but in high stakes situations, when you're 30 minutes into a PB pace run, uh, this this is a run under for sure. And I got it. machine guns because oh, that's guess. what they need in every factory. <laughs> I was about to ask, are those the lasers from like, Super Meat Boy? I guess <laughs> not. When did Super Meat Boy come out? They might have copied Limbo also. Like 2011, 2012? Mm, next year, fresh really in the well. mind. I'm going for an easier strat here because I know I'm going to fail the other one because it's a high stake situation. 2010. 2010, same what year. What month? Oh, October. So this game did come out before. Yep, they, they copied, yeah. even though the game hard. was already in development. <laughs> yeah. hard, hard it was already programmed, but it's still <laughs> copied. We have hard evidence. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a couple of months there. I just changed the entire game. Push the um, box up there just enough to get this box before the gravity resets. Gonna give myself a little bit extra time here because failing this sucks. You have to go all the way back down there and reset the box. If the box goes to the ceiling like that, you have to not only wait for the gravity to end and for the box to come down, but then reset it where you want it. <laughs> Sounds like a significant time loss. Yep, that's definitely not something you want to mess up around. A little bit of suboptimal movement there. Ideally, I would have gotten to the right side of the box. 
make a deal. Really? Huh. I can't say that's never happened before, because it definitely has, but it doesn't happen often. <laughs> Um, that is not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> I pretty much was up until this point. That's <laughs> that's a sad thing. This went from like a uh, high 43 to like maybe a or a 43, um, to like maybe a 46 now. Coming up here is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. Which kind of sucks because it's at the end, so you play it the least. That'll land on me. <laughs> <laughs> Not ideal. I'll go for it one more time. Close enough.
Honestly, I think I learned it in my second week running the game, so. <laughs> Alright, time is coming up here when I cross the glass wall on the right side of the screen. Yep. the time 45 10. 45 10 cool um so do you want to watch through like the little end cutscene here <laughs> I mean, we have time yeah. cool. <laughs> this is the part where they give you an ambiguous ending as is pretty commonplace with indie <laughs> non-dialogue games yeah. So, it takes a little while for this como, uh, slow-mo uh, walk away from the explosion cutscene until I regain control of my character. You think he's dead, starts blinking. Wakes up in a hospital bed. And there's our sister. Hello, sister. I don't know. They fooled me last time. <laughs> they sure did. What is she building? Sandcastles? <laughs> That's also up to interpretation. Some people think she's digging your grave. She notices you and end. <laughs> sure and then died. you go back to the title yeah. screen, which is kind of the same scene. Oh, I have to go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but there's flies both where you were and where your sister were. Oof. Maybe so zombies. it's possible. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for having me. I'll be back for a little nightmares. Yeah,